Hello, welcome to Kitchen Counter Crafts. If you like this video, would you please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Today I'm going to do an unboxing and also use this for a thank you card. It's the Speedball Signature Series and it is a pen and ink set and I just got it from my friend for my birthday. And I started opening it, you can tell, and then I thought, I need to do a video. So I stopped halfway, which requires a great deal of patience and self-control on my part because I literally was like ripping into this thing. So I'm gonna open this up with you and uh, it has just, you know, some information from the Speedball Company that was made in 1899. But what I love about this is this is a signature series. If I can get this thing open. Okay, I might have to come back off video to get that open. I, you know what, I bet you this is childproof packaging. That's why I can't get it. And what I don't want to do er, is bend things. So there we go. What I wanted to show you is this stylus, which is so beautiful. Black with gold. I don't have anything like this. And then it has this lovely nib, which I can't tell what size that is. Let's see. Is that easier to open? Man, this is like real deal packaging. Okay. A really pretty gold nib. Not actual gold, mind you, but I'm thinking it's a G nib. I can't quite tell because I'm going blind in my old age, but anyway, nice nib. Anyway, and it does not tell me what size nib it is. It says contents on the back, but oh, there is content in the back. Gold plated number down here. 513 EF pointed pen nib. I'll put it in the descriptions. It also has a uh, pigmented black ink here and a and a down here and then a pen cleaner which I don't have either so I was really excited to get this as a gift super thoughtful so if my friend is watching you know who you are thank you so much I don't know if she'll be watching she's not really interested in any of this but she knows what I like which is so sweet maybe I'll make her watch this video and then she can see me ripping into the packaging and destroying it utterly. Whew, that was a lot of work. Maybe I should have opened it beforehand. So anyway, here's the pen cleaner so you can see it a little bit better. And uh, so, you know, like for the nibs, which I just wipe off with a damp paper towel, but it's nice to have that. Especially sometimes I get in a hurry and I don't end up cleaning. And then this is a black ink which i'm going to use to write her thank you card with so those are the components now for a dip pen stylus or nib holder as i call it you just really um okay so there's like a plus sign in there i don't know if you can tell so you can just put the nib right in there like that and then that's really all there is to it and I just, I'm loving the black with the gold. I think that's very classy looking. So go away packaging. All right. And then I have um, some cards from Michaels that I picked up. And this is a, just one of their hot buy things. And it's cards and envelopes and just all different kinds of colors in there, which I think is really neat. And this is the embossed pack. So it has this kind of ready to go even though I have an embossing machine I still like to use this because you can literally grab a really pretty blank card and a matching envelope so I have some scrapbook paper I don't know which one I want to go with I'm thinking green which is very very pretty and by the way I think this has different different embossing yeah sure does it's got dots and like a trefoil is that the word t-r-e-f-o-i-l design i don't know if you can see that and then a like a diamond grid and a brick i'm gonna go with the brick and just because it's linear and my paper is linear now let's see if how well that matches i'm gonna set this here i can only set those out of the way in case i 
drop and drip the ink. Then I'm gonna cry if it got onto my cards. So anyway, got this grid line paper and then this paper, which I think is gonna go very nicely with it. Now I could actually, let me get this paper out of the way too. We're not doing pinks today. So I could actually um, cut this, but since it's lined, it's gonna be really nice. And then I can cut it after the fact. And I've got my little paper trimmer here with me. So what I normally do with dip pen ink is just kind of give it a good shake because dip pen ink is different than fountain pen ink. And I love fountain pens. I use fountain pens. You cannot interchange them very well. So number one, dip pen ink should never be put into fountain pen ink. You're going to clog up your whole pen and it's going to be kind of a disaster. And then fountain pen ink is really too light for the dip pens. Um, so you have to add gum arabic to it and thicken that up just a slight bit so anyway all that to say use the right tools for the right job and that's really half the battle sometimes in getting um, started on just knowing what to do and how to write so that's why it's nice to get a kit like this because it's got like everything you need on it ready to go so I don't know if you noticed but this this ink is pretty thick looking and that's really why you want something like that for your dip pen and you just want to dip your pen in there and just touch I touch the side and I want to go past the vent no I probably should have shown you what the vent was you can probably see it right there so that the ink covers the vent and then you just write all there is to it. It's not very magical. Oh, and it's not going to write for me. Ha ha. Just kidding. There we go. All right. And probably want to bring you in closer so you can see what I am doing. And I'm trying to actually flex this nib, but it's not letting me. So it must not be a very flexy nib, which is okay. So there's one thank you. And try it again. And you don't really have to go tap tap into that. I don't know why I just did that. And I don't know why I just started writing in the middle of the page either but it's all right let's try it again and see if I so I'm not really liking my swirls down here and this one just kind of hanging out. So I'm gonna try another thank you. And one of the things that I learned was that you want to make some ovals and not really harsh lines. Now I just dip the pen again so the U is going to look weird. So you can see that this can be a little picky and a little finicky sometimes. But that's why I have a 12 by 12 paper. I can practice until it's perfect. Okay, that looks awful. We're going to scrap that one. And I'm going to start all over here. Now, if this ink is too thick right here, there it is. If that ink is too thick, you can always add a little bit of water to thin it down. So don't be scared to do that either. So I think this is going to be the winner. Okay. I like that one. There we go. So out of all of those lines, um, again, you just kind of 
practice and it, maybe I like the first one. I don't know. This one, kind of weird. That one's very strange. That's not so bad. So what you want to do is use your dip pen, but practice, practice, practice. And as far as this one is concerned, there's, you can see the vent now. There it is. Um, as far as this one's concerned, it is not a flexi nib. So that's kind of a, a sad thing for me because I really do like writing flex. And I'm going to show you that with a different pen. Oh, and by the way, watch this. You just remove the pen. Oh, where did it go? You can clean off the nib just like that with a damp paper cloth. Paper towel. And let me get my other pen. Where is it? Where did it go? There it is. Okay, I'm back. So this is the kind that I normally use and it has a G nib. I just want to use it in the same holder as the other one. There we go. And I was trying to stick that there. All right. And so I don't know if you can tell the difference here. It's got side cuts right there and then a vent in the middle. And that's going to give you a really nice flex and it's cut all the way to the vent. So I'm going to use that and see how that does in this ink so just dipped it and then you can like touch the side and just see and i'm gonna use the oh, i was gonna use the top of the paper but i'm not gonna do that all right let me go in a little bit so you can see So you can have a lot more of the thick and the thin, but it's also super scratchy, as you can tell. Now I can get a little bit better here. Whoa, really scratchy. And I just railroaded it. And railroading means when you split the tines because you've pushed so hard. So as you can tell, this is a little bit of a different look. You can definitely see the line variation. And uh, I don't know, I just, find this nib just a joy to write with it's just a a zebra g like a comic nib and it's very cheap and uh, you can easily find it and use it so you can here i wrote a bunch of different ones so you can see the difference between the two nibs the first one is pretty stiff but it's very even like that right there and then this is the comic nib so that you can see the more of like the calligraphy look um, to it. So anyway, I don't know if that was helpful at all. And I just thought I'd practice and make a card with uh, for my friend. Oh, I didn't even make the card yet. What am I doing? Okay, but it's going to take like two seconds. Let me put the cap on the ink. And again, um, dip pen ink and the other fountain pen ink are not interchangeable dip pen inks are just thicker so that they hold on to the nib a little bit better there we go okay just want to get that out of the way and then um i was going to use my paper guillotine but i'm afraid i'm going to smear that all right so we're going to get my handy dandy scissors because this is lined paper and it'll be fine it's lined paper, so I 
cut it down the middle where there's no line. It's, it's all right. There's literally no method to my madness. And yes, in retrospect, I probably should have just cut it to begin with. But you can feel free to write that in the comments because I kind of need to hear it again. Okay, so because I'm writing this for my friend, I'm going to uh, use the thank yous that I wrote with hers. Her nib and everything. So I'm going to carefully cut this up. Uh, uh, no, I can't. I don't know if it's dry yet. So No, it still looks a little wet. Okay. You know what? Mm, I don't know what to, why am I hesitating so much? Okay. There. Just just give it a snip, would ya? Just afraid it's gonna be all cut wonky, but there we go. Okay. So there's the thank you. And I'll just set it maybe in the center or it could go off to the side. Whoa. Like right there. So I think I'm going to do this center and just grab a glue stick and do that. And since it's still a little wet, I have to just put a little glue down. Whoa, that's a lot of glue. <laughs> Don't mind me. <laughs> it's funny. This is just normal crafting days for me. This is, you'd think it's abnormal. It's not, it's just very normal. There you go. So that's literally as simple as it's gonna get. I'm gonna just glue those down after so I can like go like that and not smear my ink and then write her thank you note. But honestly, it's just very not time consuming, very plain and simple thank you cards that you can just write with calligraphy or cursive and try your hand at some of these. I just think they're beautiful, don't you? So anyway, if you're scared of dip pen calligraphy, don't be, just do like me. Use it for whatever you think. And, you know, just kind of go here and there and add a little sticker or two and make a card for somebody. And especially if they gave you such a nice kit to work with, so. Anyway, that's my craft for today, and I hope that you enjoyed it, or at least it was helpful to you. There you go, look. There, that just adds that extra something that it was missing, that je ne sais quoi. So, anyway, there's my card, and super simple, super easy with dip pen calligraphy. Until next time, bye.